Hey, good day, folks. Pastor Jamal here, Rising Ground Church. Man, we're gonna keep. Um, we're gonna keep with this identity. You know, we're learning our identity, Rising Ground Church's way. Um, so I'm gonna stay on this as long as God allows, which is probably gonna be indefinitely. <laughs> um, it'll show up when it does. But I just wanted to stop in here and throw this at you. So again, keeping with your identity and the importance of it, and also the importance of you staying on your divine mission, you staying in tune um, with God and uh, allowing God to do in you what he's doing in you so that you can show up for the world the way that um, you were always meant to. So Matthew 9 verses um, 37 and 38 talks about the harvest is indeed plentiful, but the workers are few. I always thought that that was pointing in, in a specific direction in an obvious direction but a new revelation just crept in and you know anytime we're talking about it's saying the harvest is plentiful so the harvest um harvest is a time where we gather what's already been sown so you plant corn you sow corn you sow wheat when harvest times comes then you gather that corn and that wheat so the workers are, there are limited workers to gather what's already been sown. God has sown a seed in each and every one of us. And the, the, the way that that seed is gathered or brought in is, is by the worker. So what is the worker? The worker is the one that has been designed or ordained to cultivate the flame of the seed, meaning the seed has already been planted by God so you come along and you do your part. You stand in the authority that God has given you. You do, um, you stand in the places you go where God tells you to go. You are, um, in essence, you are revealing Christ to the world the way that God has given you to do it. So whatever that looks like for you, you are to be in the identity that does that the best, which is the Christ identity and you give it to the world and then that 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 seed that is is already there it, it just bursts forth and the person that has um been touched by you has now the ability to stand up in their truth in god's spirit and uh becomes who, who god has commissioned them to become because you decided to be courageous enough to step into who you are in Christ and do exactly what that does or looks like and then they're changed. Then they're exposed to the fire of truth and power and authority and they rise up in their form and they do the same thing. They become a worker. So I hope that made sense folks. Pastor Jamal, man, we gotta do it. We gotta become it. We gotta continue to allow ourselves to do exactly what it is that God is telling us to do and be. So love y'all, man. I'll talk to you. Peace.